let's talk about what just happened. Um, firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone that stopped at the crash to make sure I was okay. Before I talk about anything else, no, there is no footage. My GoPro is there because um, it's like a monsoon outside, so I didn't bother wearing it because you can't see anything anyway. And because I've drilled holes in it because of the microphone, you can't like it's not fully waterproof. Anyway, so I was off to Swindon, um, about an hour from here, driving along. Uh, we'll talk about why I was at Swindon in a sec. Got to Swindon, did everything I need to. On the way back, it was literally 10 minutes down the road. Comes up to a roundabout, I'm driving along. Roundabout's here. Um, Jaguar, I think it was an F-Type. Um, it accelerates from 50 to 60, which the, it was a national speed limit. I'm doing 60, say. And it just, because it's rear wheel drive, spun out and just drifted sideways towards me. Um, and hit my foot. That was it. I was so lucky. Literally, one mile an hour slower, I would have been hit off. Um, or slightly more to the right, I would have been hit off. Um, I did swerve out of the way, but even so, hit my foot, and then uh, hit the van behind me. So, like, completely totaled the van behind me. Um, and totaled with the jack as well, the wheels come off, uh, it was just fucked. Um, I'm sure there will be pictures and stuff on Facebook or something on the news. Um, it was a pretty big crash. But yeah, literally hit my right foot, took off the peg, that's it. There's no damage to the, the R3. I, I, I don't understand how. Um, my foot did hurt. Afterwards, obviously, I've just been hit by a jag at 60 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour, whatever it was. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, um, this is, I don't know if I'll post this straight away because the police will probably ring me because I've given all my details and whatnot and I'll probably sort some other stuff out. Um, but, yeah, like, this is just like a thing to say like i've just got back um but like it was freezing cold well not freezing cold it was pissing down with rain so i could have slid out anything it was i was so fucking lucky so fucking lucky but so many people stopped and was like are you okay are you okay well no it's me and stuff but i was fine like i was shaking from all the adrenaline like shock it's definitely a thing <laughs> um um yeah, I did just get hit by a Jaguar. <laughs> um, it's, it's mental to try and imagine you going at 60 mile an hour and a Jaguar going 60 mile an hour sideways towards you. It's basically what just happened. Um, and then just hitting your foot. I can't, <laughs> it, just, it doesn't register in my head just yet. Um, but yeah. That's that. Um, now that's um, that part of this video done. And now I want to talk about what I want to be doing on YouTube because I did try and do this video before. Um, I did it on the decay, but uh, the SD card didn't save the footage. It all corrupted, which just makes me think more. I, I've been trying to sort out my life recently and what I want. To do and stuff I want to change jobs and I've just moved house and you know obviously YouTube's dying in my opinion and I want to know what I'm trying to figure out what I want to do um I haven't made a video of ages like I, I still edit all the ones I have but I haven't actually gone out and filmed something um so I don't really know what to do at the moment so I decided to buy a new bike. Um, sold the Ducati, sold my Grom. I still have the R three to get from here and back to work, and I've bought another bike for a little project. Um, kind of like a build series is what I'm going to start doing. Um, 
yeah. I was gonna literally just disappear off YouTube and never make a video ever again, but... We'll see how this project goes. But yeah, like... You can still see my hand shaking, like, I can't believe how close that was. It's ridiculous. But yeah. I won't put this video out straight away, I'll have it privatised for a bit just to see if the police ring me and say I um, don't put any footage or anything online. Although I did just post something on Facebook. But... Oh well, I just wanted to update you guys just to let you know I'm fine. I did just get hit by Carly. <laughs> ah! Madness. Madness. Right, I calmed down now, as you can probably tell from that first bit, I was just hella shocked what happened. Um, still doesn't quite register in my head. Um, in fact, if I had gone one mile an hour slower, if I was one inch to the right, I would have been wiped out. Completely wiped out. And the fact he had just clipped my wheel, uh, clipped my foot, nothing else. Like, yeah, I'm editing the video in the background. You see the video there. Maybe you can guess what it is, but anyway. Um, yeah, he could have, if he was a centimetre, like he's that close, he's hit my foot. If he was a centimetre more, he could have clipped my uh, rear set, flung me off. He could have hit my brake, um, bent my brake and locked my rear wheels up. I've got ABS, so that wouldn't have happened, but could have hit my, my steering and threw me off. Um, could have hit me completely off. Like... It's that close, I would have gone sliding across the floor. It's crazy, but the guy, like I shook the guy's hand in the end. Um, he he apologised. It was all okay. Um, the police got all my information. Told him that I got hit on the foot. People, you know, there are people in this world that would try and get a claim out of it. I'm not like my foot is fine. Like there's no bruises. There's nothing. Like the guy must feel shit like you've got this lovely car and he was trying to show off a little bit and he's caused, caused a, an accident but nobody was hurt that's the good thing like not one person was injured yeah it could have been yeah it was done but it happens you know um we've all done stupid things and unfortunately he had so much brake horse put underneath him that like, it just because it, it's rear wheel drive, you gave it a little bit of acceleration, and just the back end stepped out, and there's nothing you can do in the wet. It's just gonna go wide, and it did. It just slid across, and lucky enough, didn't hit me. Uh, one mile an hour slow, it would have, yeah, but it literally do completely dodged me, and totaled the van behind it, behind me, and totaled his car. So it's a shit one, but I'm hella lucky. Um, yeah, I wanted to update it because I was just eating my dinner and I was thinking about it and I'm like, oh, okay, that was, yeah, if you think about it, that's quite crazy. But, please haven't rung me or anything, I think everything's going to be fine. There's no damage to my bike, no damage to me, so I think I'm fine posting this, so I'm going to post this now. And, yeah, this happened on 22nd of September 2018. Um, and the reason, if you watched all the way to the end, now you'll know the reason I was going to um, Swindon was to buy another bike. Oh wait, didn't I already say that? I did already say that. Mm. Oh well, never mind. Now you know again. I don't know. Actually, I'll tell you maybe a few weeks at the end. No, I don't know. I was going to tell you what it is. I'll tell you it's super. There you go. You wait to the end, you get to know that. Anyway, 